Now, what I'd like to do is I'd quite like to fade in at the start and fade out at the end. How would I achieve that? OK, well, let's go for the start now. There's two different ways of doing it. I'll show you both of them. At the start, I'm going to use what's called a transition. Transitions are normally a transition between one clip and another clip. If it's at the start, of course, it's a transition between nothing and the clip. Now, I get to the transitions by coming over here to the effects palette, which is where I found the audio filters, and looking for transitions in the list. And I've got a whole load of them, 2D ones, 3D ones, empty ones, lots of different stuff. What I really want is just this, a cross dissolve. I use it 99% of the time. It's got a little D on it to say that's the default transition as well. It's what you use most of the time. Of course, you can change all this stuff. Actually, the dissolve is the most common transition used. I want to take that, and I just want to fade in the start. So I'm going to grab hold of it, drag it, and drop it on the start of the clip. Now you'll notice there that I dragged it down there and I put it on this bottom section. If you remember I said the yellow piece is the video, the green bit is the sound, the bit at the bottom is what's called the transparency track or the opacity track. So that represents how transparent it is. So this cross is of goes down there on the transparency track. It only does that when it's at the start of a clip. If I was to put it between two clips, like these two, it would pop up here. But now I'm using it as a fade in, it goes down there at the start of the clip. How long is that transition? Well, I can have a look at it. In fact, if I hold over it long enough, up pops the tool top and tells me it's a second. If I want it to be two seconds or something else, I just grab hold of it and make it bigger or drag it down and make it shorter. But there we are, a little bit of a fade in. Let's go and do the same thing at the end. I'm not going to put any fancy transitions between this lot. It's just a conversation. It would look weird. I just want to come along the end here and I want to fade me out. Now I could do the same thing, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it in a different way. Looking at that, I want the fade to start there and then end at the end. And like I said, I'm going to use that using a totally different method. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here to the track header. You notice I clicked on that one earlier and it showed me the sound a bit more in depth. If I click on that one, it shows me the transparency track a bit more in depth, this track down here. And you'll notice there's a blue line. The blue line on there is a bit like the orange line on the sound. This controls how transparent it is. The orange line on the sound controls the volume. I want to put a couple of points on there. So in other words, I want it to be at the top and then slope down to the bottom. Just like the sound, you come over to the heading here and click on that. It says mix as opposed to volume because, of course, it's the mix of the video. And then I'm going to click on the little blue line there and put in a point and grab hold of that and drag it downwards. And that will fade out the picture for me. You're welcome. Want it to be a bit longer, just grab hold of that point and move it down a bit. Thank you very much, David. You're welcome. It'd be quite nice if I faded out the sound, so why don't I do that? Come over here, open up the sound, come over to the little button and click on volume, put in a point there and another point there, and now the sound fades out as well. You're welcome. Which is just a cleaner end to everything. Yeah, that's not bad, quite happy with that. Got a little edit, fades in at the start, fades in at the end. You might say to yourself, okay, David, why did you use a transition at the start and why did you use the points at the end? What's the difference? Sometimes I use one, sometimes I use the other. It really depends on what I'm doing. Actually, there's some very quick shortcuts, which we'll talk about in the editing section, to actually add on these points very, very quickly. So I actually use that 99% of the time rather than a transition, because over here the transition is just faded at the picture. I still haven't done the sound. If I use the shortcuts, I can do both at once very quickly.